The monsters in Zoonomaly are something we've never really seen before. They are quite literally out of this world, which makes me wonder how they could resemble animals from this planet if they're from a different dimension. Well, let's take a look at these monsters and see if we can't figure out what exactly they are. First off, we need to understand where they came from, this being a different dimension called Blue Morda. Considering its name, we can assume a few things. Like I mentioned in my previous video, the term Bloom is related to both flowers and light, and both seem to play a big role in the game. Flowers are known to open, or in other words, flowers bloom. So this could mean that Blue Morda is related to flowers in some way. The shape of a flower is seen a lot throughout the game. The most obvious is through the Bloom Obang. This is an extremely valuable tool for our defense and exploration. But what's most important here is its design. The device has 12 petal shaped parts that bloom open when it's fired. This is the same thing a flower does as it grows, it opens. Both a flower and this device bloom, hence its name. Now, this exact same shape is also seen on the bloom machine. It has 12 petal shaped parts and blooms open as well. So you get the idea here. Now, if you look closely at the monsters through the bloom obang screen, you will notice that each monster has small floating specks around them. If you look very closely, these specks are actually small leaves. And again, when looking through the bloom Bang screen, you can see various mushrooms scattered around the zoo, further pushing the idea that flowers are important here. However, the obvious relation to Bloomorda is light. The word bloom can also be described as becoming radiant and glowing. This would make sense considering the monsters are literally glowing, and we use light to stun them. The Bloomobang uses a light bulb as its source, while the Bloom machine seems to produce light energy as well. It also uses a massive light bulb. So instead of flowers, Hours, the Blue Morda dimension could be a place full of light energy, or both flowers and light play a role in the dimension, but I'll let you decide. With all that being said, what are these monsters? Well, some are hostile and some are not, but keep in mind that many of them all have similar features. One of the first that you will be greeted by are these human looking ones that resemble a zookeeper. They patrol the zoo and will constantly chase you if seen. These guys are extremely tall, with overgrown body parts including their arms, legs, and even head. They wear a yellow ranger hat with a yellow shirt, while also not wearing pants, probably because they grew out of them. Their eyes are extremely large and fully black while their nose is overgrown. What is most terrifying is their mouths, always being open with a huge smile, including extremely large and sharp teeth. This trait is commonly seen throughout the other monsters. One of the friendly monsters are these guys that sort of resemble that of a frog. They are very small compared to the others with two arms and two legs, also having big black eyes. However, their mouths are shut. They do not have a big smile, let alone any sharp teeth, but they do react to light as it temporarily stuns them. There is also a different version of these guys that look to be covered in maybe blood, considering they have red all over them. However, they are not hostile. Another friendly monster are these that resemble that of a lizard. Instead of being completely white, they actually have a a hue of green around them, again having big full black eyes, yet these do have a big smile. However, their teeth are actually human-like, rather than being large and sharp. This is an interesting design choice and makes me wonder if it has any relation to what they really are, but more on that later in the video. In addition, this monster is also friendly. These resemble a chicken. It has longish legs and a long neck, also having the same dark black eyes. Yeah, each monster has these eyes, so I'll I'll be saying that a lot. However, its nose is much different than the others. It's very long and pointy, like a beak. You'll also notice it actually has nostrils like a human. This is not its only human feature. This monster has human feet, which is very odd. You'll also notice this theme of human body parts throughout all of these creatures. Its mouth has a big grin, however, it has no teeth. Another friendly monster is one that kind of resembles a giraffe, considering its long neck. It has long legs with a again, human feet, and has a bigger body. Like I said, it has a very long neck, yet it drops down rather than being straight up. Its face has big black eyes, nostril holes, and instead of a big smile, it has a big frown, meaning this guy is probably not the happiest. The last friendly monster are these. I'm not too sure what they are based on. 
My first guess would be a hippo. However, their enclosure does not have water. They are massive in size with four legs and human-like feet. Also having big black eyes, nostrils, and a big smile. However, with no teeth. The aggressive monsters are much more terrifying. The first one I want to point out are these that resemble a monkey. These creatures use their arms to propel themselves forward towards us. They have human-like arms and legs with their arms being longer, which is a common trait in most monkeys or apes. Also having a much bigger head. Their ears are very big and kind of resemble how a baby monkey looks. They have two big black eyes, a human-like nose, and a big smile with two rows of sharp pointy teeth. Now the only other aggressive monster that does not have large sharp teeth are these cat creatures. There are many small versions of them with a giant one that is actually friendly, or at least it doesn't attack us. Like I said, these creatures resemble that of a cat or tiger considering it's a zoo. They have four legs with paws and a long neck. Also having two cat-like pointed ears, black eyes, human nostrils, and a big smile, however without any teeth. These are the only aggressive monsters that do not have teeth. The next monster I want to talk about is this one that sort of looks like a pig. This creature definitely caught me off guard. It looks terrifying. As we can see, it has a very human-like body with two arms, hands, two legs, and and feet. Its eyes are all black, however they are positioned to look like ears. Its nose is shaped like a snout, this is why it looks like a pig. And its mouth always has a grin, including two rows of large teeth. I'm going to be mentioning these teeth a lot, I apologize. Following this, we have a monster that resembles a bear from the looks of its head. This creature is extremely tall with a brownish complexion. Its arms and legs are incredibly long that make him as tall as trees. Its ears are shaped like a bear, while its eyes are fully black, always having a big smile showing its teeth. This monster can only be found outside of the zoo in the forest area, so it's interesting that it doesn't run off, rather it stays at the zoo. Another monster that is very tall is this guy inside of one of the buildings. I'm not sure what animal this could resemble. It has hints of green all over. He also has very long arms and legs. Its hands only have two fingers, kind of like claws while its feet are like humans. The most notable feature from this creature is that it has no eyes, yet it can still find us, meaning it probably has incredible hearing. Its head is very long, yet it does not have a nose. Its only facial features are its big smile and large sharp teeth, and we can assume it has small holes for ears. The next monster is also very large, but resembles an elephant. It is massive in size and has four legs with human like feet, having two large ears that are very similar to an elephant. However, it does not have an elephant trunk. It does have two black eyes and a very large mouth, including two rows of large sharp teeth. This creature seems to be trapped inside of the maze, and lucky for us, it cannot leave. One of my favorite monsters is this massive one that resembles a rabbit. This creature also has human-like hands and feet. It also actively covers its eyes a lot. This is because it seems to be be very light sensitive, more than the other monsters. This is interesting as some monsters have unique personalities and some don't. Its most notable features are the very large bunny ears, also having big black eyes, no nostrils, and a large mouth with two rows of large teeth. One of the last land monsters is the final boss. This creature guards the blue machine. He resembles that of a fox, having four long legs with animal paws. Its head is rather large with two pointy ears. The sides of its head are pointed out, which is the same as a fox. It has two big black eyes, a human nose, and a big smile showing its teeth. The only water creature in the game is this massive monster that could resemble a whale. It's extremely large and doesn't seem to care about us when we first enter the building. As you can see, it has two black eyes, although it does not have a nose. This would make sense considering it is a fish, but it does have a massive mouth with again, two rows of very large sharp teeth. It will only attack us if we fall into the water enclosure. This part of the game was probably one of my favorites. The idea of large bodies of water with massive fish actually terrify me. Now, the very last monster that I haven't mentioned yet are these blobs located throughout the zoo. I have no idea what these are. They don't move or really do anything, which makes me very curious as to why they are here. Considering that they are not from the this 
world, maybe they were creatures that failed to change dimensions correctly, leaving them in a blob-like state. I want to mention one more thing. At the very end of the game, we find a note that confirms a few details. A sort of mad scientist did in fact build the blue machine. He was trying to create a home for the monsters. However, he knew we would come to try and send them back to Blue Morda. Also mentioning his next paradise will be perfect. This confirms a sequel, and it also confirms that these monsters did in fact get brought here, rather than zoo animals mutating. Considering all of this information, I think we can start to piece together what these creatures really are. While many of the monsters look like animals on Earth, they are actually their own species from Blue Morda. This is why some of them do not resemble an animal. So Blue Morda could be a dimension that is very similar to Earth, considering how most of the creatures have human-like features, like human faces, hands, and feet. The zookeeper monsters even look the most human. Therefore, I think it's safe to say that Blue Morda is just like Earth, yet a much more terrifying and darker version. This is why the monsters look like they do. Keep in mind, they are breathing air. How do you feel about the monsters in Zoonomaly? I think a lot of their looks are just design choices rather than having lore meaning, but it's fun to speculate considering there might be a sequel. I didn't really talk much about how they acted because it seemed like they were all coded the same way, which is to just constantly chase us. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel more, you can become a member. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifyT. Thanks for watching.